Hi there, Chris Fougere here, a Freedom Marketing Coach and Lead Cycles and do local, I guess. Now, um, the idea here is that we're just um, using a tool that's on the internet here, GT Metrics. You can use this tool. You can just um, you know, type this into your address bar and get here. And what I've done here before I start this video is I have um, run a performance uh, report for a client of ours, um, how to go electric bikes in Tucson, Arizona. Now, you can see here that, <clears throat> unfortunately, it's giving this website a grade of F with a performance grade of 38. So this is all red, red. It starts getting uh, it structures a little bit better at 63, um, and then the largest content on the page is taking 2.1 seconds to come up, uh, and then your blocking time and the layout shift is not awesome either. But you want to start fixing some, and as you fix some of these, you might fix the whole um, the whole thing as you go along here. And it kind of gives a, a, th a shot of what's coming up for people, right? Um, now again, why is it showing you this? Well, because you only have a little bit of time. Um, to get people's attention. So if your site is taking too long to load, right, time to interactive, 5.4 seconds, that's too long. It's, it's got to be less than that. So what do we want to do here? What can we do about this once we do check this and find out, uh oh, it's not going great, right? So we want to see what we can do. So again, down here at the bottom here, it says uh, an, avoid enormous pay work, uh, network payloads. So we're just going to click into here and we can see something and we can see that Basically, there's a bunch of images, right? All these things that end in JPEG, 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 JPEG. These are all images, right? If we click on them, okay, we can see that this image is a great image, but it's too large, right? So if the biggest image that the page can really show on a screen is 1200, and this is at 5760, what we need to do is we need to shrink this image. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now live. So what you want to do is you want to Google something to the effect of um, image file reducer. Okay, punch, punch that in, and we'll see here, tiny PNG. Okay, so we're going to click on that, and we are going to go back and we're going to grab that photo. Right now, you've got to go back to where that photo lives. So I'm just, this is just an example. So I'm going to save the image as... Um, got to go e-bike and I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to go over here okay and I am going to click and I'm going to grab that image okay and it's compressing that image for me right now right you can see how fast um, it started doing that so we're just going to wait for that now again this is a job right like it needs to be done to help improve this website, but you're going to want to figure out other things that you can do while this is working, right? Because uh, as you can see, it's taking a little bit of time here um, to get this job done. So there you go. Panda just saved you 41%, right? So again, you want to go here to download and you want to, you know, save it again as reduced size and hit save, right? Then what do you want to do? You want to take that, right? And you want to upload it into your site and replace the image that it was on there, right? So you want to take that image and make it smaller. Now there's a second thing that you can do, right? And that second thing is you want to have um, uh, image um, size reducer, right? So it might be, re it could be two things that need to happen, right? So we're going to also select that image and we're going to go to the reduce size one that we grabbed. We're going to hit open, right? And now we're going to say, listen, basically, you know, we don't want it like 5,700 is a huge file, right? So we're going to just take 1,200 here and then make it 800. And the quality is going to be 90% of what it was, and we're going to resize the image. Okay. So then we're going to download the image. So now, right, it's file size is smaller and pixel smaller, 1200 px. Okay. Then we're going to take that photo and we're going to reload it onto our website so that it drives down this number here and starts to 
eliminate this high impact um, situation here. So again, you're gonna, you can see that is the number one thing, right? Number one thing is the impact of all these photos, okay? And what you wanna do here. So again, I know in the case of James, this might not apply to everyone, but this, in the case of James, James has corporate um, uh, teams looking at his website and handling his website. So some of these pictures he may have control over, some of the other pictures he might not have control over. So I encourage you to um, use those tools. Let's just take a look here tinypng.com and reduceimages.com, right? So those are those two things that you can use to reduce the size of your images so that you can make your website load faster. You need to get this 5.4 seconds time down. You need to get it down here to this two seconds time so that you can have, um, you know, some scores here that are looking, you know, you want to get this F to at least, I don't know, let's start with C. Let's get, let's get it to C and uh, doing this to all these photos, I'm probably going to make that happen. Um, so again, uh, it's, it's not an overnight uh, fix for fixing this website, but you can make a huge uh, impression on it. So again, you know, don't take my word for it to run this test yourself, right? And start making these fixes on these photos and then go run the test again. You can see here where it says retest. So you can be able to come back and find out what your improvements are, right? And I would take a screenshot of this, right? So just use something like awesome screenshot, which you can download in Google Chrome. And then you can just take a shot of this um, visible part. And now I've got that as my record. Right. So that's a short lesson today on how you can move your uh, move the needle on your uh, website uh, as soon as today. Thanks a lot. If you need help with that? Just email me at Chris at Freedom Marketing Coach, and we'd be happy to get our team to do this for you and save your time and money if that's what you want to do. But if you've got a little bit of time, then uh, please do this for your own website at your business.